Hello, welcome to the Oides. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this very cute owl. It's a very, very tiny owl. owl. Um, yeah, it's made out of fabric. And I used some glue. And it's, um, yeah, easy to make. We don't uh, use any needles for this. And um, yeah, I've done it just with, with fabric glue. And uh, it's about 20 minutes it took me. So it's, uh, yeah, it's very simple, very easy, and very nice. You can use different colors, different textures, different kind of fabric. It's, uh, it's completely up to you. I'll just show you what I, uh, what I made. I think it's very, very cute. And um, yeah, it's a very creative idea, very easy, very simple. Right, I've got some um, fabric here. It's about 22, um, 22 to 24 centimeters. I've got two equal filled white pieces, about six centimeters, and I've got some snail, which is a um, slightly longer triangle. And I've got some cotton buds. I've got glue, well, clothing glue, textile glue, um, a black pen, scissors, and pencil. I've got uh, how to make the uh, cotton cotton bots holder and the pencil. I've got some tutorial videos on my channel as well. Right, so we've got the uh, two uh, fabrics, and we're gonna we're gonna um, draw what we what shape we'd like to have on the inside of the fabric. So we're gonna do a round shape on the bottom, and then go straight up again. Then we're going to make the cute little ears. There we go. Two ears and the rest of the face. So then straight on the sides and then two ears and then go inwards again. A bit of a round angle. Right, that's we're gonna cut and then we're gonna place that more onto the other fabric so we're gonna get equal pieces. So we're gonna place one fabric piece onto the other and then we're gonna cut it around that so we've got the same shape. By the ears, it's, it's fitting properly. So we're going to fold it double and then see if we did it straight. And cut it off a little bit to make it even. Or even. Equal, sorry. Even. Right, that's done. When I'm satisfied, we're going to place it onto the other fabric and cut around that. Well. Right, we've got two pieces now, done, two equal pieces, and then we're going to paste one side to the other side, so we're going to place a nice side inwards, uh, we're going to leave it open on the, on the bottom because that's where we're going to place it inside out and place the cotton pots in there. So just a little bit of the edge, we're going to place the glue. And then we're going to place the fabric on that, the other fabric, also the nice side inwards, so the nice sides face each other. It holds better if you um, spread out the glue a little bit. That way you don't get any big lumps and it will dry quicker. Right. Place that side on top of that. 
so the bad side will go on on top. All right, push it down, let it dry, and I'm going to continue with my other part. Make sure it's dry properly. Right, that is done now. It's all good. And then we're going to fold it inside out via the bottom, which we left open. Right, that's how it looks. You can put your finger like in here so you can put, like point it out a bit better. Right, then we're gonna fill it up with cotton buds. You can also buy like fillings for fabric fillings in in hobby stuffed hobby stores and online if you prefer that. But I use cotton buds, which is just as easy really. Make sure it's also in the ears. Right, everything in. Then we're gonna connect the bottom bit together. Again, the glue. So I'm gonna place some on the bottom bit of the top. And then place the bottom bit over that. Inwards, like that. And be careful and do it slowly because that way you get the be best end result. So the outside fabric inwards against the glue. So both sides are facing inwards. Right, that's it. Make sure that dried. But in the meantime, I can also continue with the snail and the eyes. Right, I've got the eyes here, and the snail goes in the middle, underneath, and I'm gonna glue that as well. And place that into place, push it down, and same with the other eye. And then the snail as well, same idea. I've got orange color, obviously, you can use yellow or a different color, that's up to you. Press that down. Right, that all needs to be dry. Then we just need to make the pupils with the pen. Right, that's done. I think it's very cute. Um, you can place any more accessories on it if you'd like. Um, you can make eyelashes or you can make a little bit like uh, a little bit colored part around the eyes or completely up to you. You can make um, yeah, a little bit of extra colors or bits and bobs to it. Um, yeah, you can use this with you can make so many things this way without any sewing. Um, very simple, simple things and yet very, very nice. And um, yeah, it's a nice little present or something that you want to put in your bedroom. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for free. And always be the first one to be informed about new videos. We've got loads of videos. 
loads of creativity ideas, DIY ideas, um, recipes, how to make your own candles, we've got literally everything. Uh, so yeah, I'd say have a look and I bet you bet you like it. Um, you can make little wings as well to the actual pillow. Um, yeah, I think it's very cute, very, very simple and yet very adorable. Um, yeah, I think it's um, very nice to give to a little kid or yeah, place in your bedroom. I like the colors as well. And um, yeah, I hope you liked it too. You enjoyed it too, and might try it at home. Um, yeah, if, give us a comment if you enjoyed it, um, or if you want us to make anything else for you. Let us know, and hopefully we'll see you soon at um, DIY. Have a good day. Bye.